Imagine a town. Imagine a town where the most anticipated event on a Friday in the fall is to gather for a high school football game. Imagine a town where parents and their children flock to the local elementary school for the big annual carnival. Imagine a town where police close the main highway for a homecoming parade led by a fire truck and carrying the football team and followed by homemade floats created by high school students. Imagine a town built for the railroad, settled by Scandinavians, and steeped in a history of agriculture. Imagine a school district which, for over a century, has been producing successful graduates in many fields. Imagine schools where students feel safe and supported where students have a five-day school week, comprehensive academic programs, a wide range of elective choices, and extracurricular activities to help children learn about themselves and explore their worlds. The Junction City District consists of four schools, Laurel Elementary and the smaller Rural Territorial Elementary, Oakley Middle School, and Junction City High School. Within each school, imagination meets reality. The perfect balance between the celebration of small town spirit and tradition and the innovation and rigor to prepare students for tomorrow's challenges. A welcoming, positive, and community-oriented environment where the individual still matters and students are known by name. Just right. It's not too small. It's not too big. It's just just right. Well, you know, because there's like you basically know everybody when you come here, you know. So like when you've been here for a couple of years, it's small school with big heart. So um, I personally like it because all my siblings went here before, so I know a lot of the teachers. So it's not it's actually a different place. Mm -hmm. Always looking for okay, what can we do for that child? What can we okay? We could take five minutes here. We could do ten minutes here. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs something that's outside the school. You know, you're, uh, we're always hearing of staff who's bought a sleeping bag. Or I mean, there, there's always somebody willing on our staff to fill a need, whatever it might be, to yes. make that child's life better. Mm -hmm. Really well, especially in like how small our classes are. Mm -hmm. It's like we all develop really good relationships within each individual class. Mm -hmm. It's just the JC way, I guess. Yeah, I've but. noticed that. Like, new students will, will come in, and at first they'll be like, uh, all right, new environment, new place, and two or three days later, they, they, you know, they've been accepted with some form of a group of people, and it didn't take that long, which is, you know, really interesting and cool to see. Uh, for me, um, being in a small community is nice, because I think there's quite a bit of parental support. It's just more of a... It's a tighter loop, I guess. So I, I feel like I feel that there's more of a connection that I have with the community. I read with lots of kids, and I'm a fanatic reader. I read chapter books galore, 300 pa pages. And mom goes to the antique store, so we find these old like pioneer books. So I read those. It's really cool. It's so fun to see kids, you know, starting to read, and you know, soon they'll be able to read big chapter books like me, you know, and it's really cool to see them do that. There was like 3,000 kids in the school and not, you only knew the kids from your class. And so coming from JC, like, you know everyone. So you can just walk down the hall and you can be like, hey, you know, talk to people because you know them better. And you're not just a number, you're actually a name and the teachers know you too. It's fun when Pete the Cat comes in our classroom because we have to be really, really quiet and I really like the quiet time because then nobody has to shout or yell. I think it's better because um, you see more one-on-one -on -one with the kids, you know, versus a large school. So, I mean, that's what I would, that's what I like about it. The homework club, the after school program, also incorporates art too. Like they just painted a new mural. And so there's all sorts of different things that you can do. It doesn't really matter what you're interested in. And we have choir and 
moral connection, which is where students go over to the uh, elementary school and they help out the younger kids and stuff like that. So it's cool because whatever you're interested in, you'll probably get to do it. Again. Yeah, like you said, my school was a little bit smaller than Junction, um, small B school in Washington. But the one thing I was thankful for growing up was just the support you get from your teachers and from the administration as a student and not really falling through the cracks because you don't have the option. It's a smaller school. Your teachers know you by name. So I yeah. think the nice thing about being here is that there are a lot of opportunities and you can find someone who will support you and be there for you. And that's really important when you're growing up. I think that my favorite time I've ever had territorial was going to Lani. I'm actually wearing our t-shirt right now. And I think not a lot of schools bring you to camp. Like it's not a summer camp, it's the whole entire school goes. And I thought that that was really cool, having an outdoor school. My favorite class is uh, science through a microscope and it just feels, it, it, it looks like you're looking into a new life that's being made directly. And with the new life, you, you feel um, happy because you're seeing new life being reborn. Yeah. Well, the program that I think has done a lot and kind of gets at least kind of taken for granted in a lot of schools is the music program. And Justin Lasley has done a tremendous job over the last three or four years. And all of a sudden, yeah. students were really looking forward to being part of playing an instrument, being part of a band. Really fun night because like every, not every Friday, but almost every Friday there's like different activities for families. Every week is like a different kind of theme. We're always trying new things to, to get kids really excited about learning at school. Mm -hmm. A project I've done for probably 10 or 11 years is building hot air balloons right before winter break. And we built uh, hot air balloons out of tissue, nothing but tissue paper and glue sticks. Mm -hmm. My favorite grade was kindergarten because we had to learn our names. And I thought it was pretty fun because Miss Nelson would always play games with us. And um, she would hide our name and then she would let us try to spell it. and then. If we spelled it correctly, she would say, can I just do the teacher chant? I have to say right now, Mr. Lanham, he's so passionate about what he does and he gets so into everything he does. I've had global studies with him and taking honors U.S. history with him and he's always so passionate and so open to other people's ideas and what they feel about certain topics and he makes class so much fun. And you can't have community unless you have people who care mm -hmm. and care a whole bunch about what they do. They come in here every day to do, teachers and, and, and classified, all of our staff, come in here every day prepared to do uh, their jobs and then they find somewhere deep within themselves to kind of take it to the next level. Uh, we kind of laugh a little bit about uh, wearing sunglasses the safe way because you walk in and if you're an educator in this town, uh, you will be stopped. You will stop and talk to people, you know, how's school going, how's the, you know, how's the team this year, uh, how's Johnny doing in math class, or the kids will just come up and it's almost like you're a celebrity. Uh, my wife will ask me if I wouldn't mind going to Safeway and sometimes I have to think about it. <laughs> you know, I don't know, how much time do I have? You know, and it's, it's really neat. Um, we're a small school and your kids are noticed by everyone. No one gets left out. I think we do have a lot of cool teachers here, and I like the staff. It's, a, it's again, building that community, building that sense of belonging to something bigger than just your child going to school there. This is home for me, and I just love the area. I don't want to go anyplace else, and I've encouraged my family to stay here. So, yeah, I like it here.